Hello, um, so um, this is a video tutorial about um, how to randomly distribute uh, images and randomly uh, rotate them on instances in uh, 3D Studio Max. I'm just going to open up the, uh, the render window and as you can see here, and of course this is with uh, OSL uh, the new shading uh, system in, in 3D Studio Max. Lots of core nodes and, and all kind of good stuff. So we have four and very soon five. Um, bitmaps that we want to, um, as I mentioned, distribute all these um, instances. So the first thing we need to do is generate some kind of randomness. Um, we do that by using the node name hash. And we're going to pipe that into um, a random by index node. So um, I'll just go here and take the hash, pipe that to the IDX. And we're going to utilize a very powerful node uh, called range remapper. Uh, this node can be used in all kind of situations. Uh, in this case, we're going to use it to uh, introduce probability, uh, strength, and so forth uh, in the uh, array of which these uh, images gets gets introduced. So let's see here. Uh, what we are looking for is the one of five color. Uh, so this basically has an index value. Uh, five entries and a range number input. So since we have five uh, bitmaps, we're going to uh, set the range to, to, to five. Um, just gonna wire this up like this. Okay. So, and we're going to put this remapper into uh, the index uh, and basically drive this array with this uh, uh, random tool we, we, we made up here. So basically the name hash takes uh, a value that is different for each of these uh, instances and shuffle them and we scale it with this one. So uh, let's see here. Um, just gonna probe this one. Good. And we stick that there. And as you can see here, uh, we get the distribution, uh, but we only we only t uh, reaching into uh, the first uh, point here, and that is because the output range is from zero to one. So that's basically this entry. And uh, if we want to encapsulate everything, we want this one, uh, oh, this one to go to 5.99999, uh, just before six. As you can see here, when I raise this one up, it starts to introduce the, um, the second entry here. So you can kind of like see this as a probability right now. If I put this one around 1.5, it should uh, have give us 50% uh, um, less red than uh, than yellow. Um, so I can just use this seed. Uh, well, it seems about right. Um, so, and since we have five images here, we're going to pump this up to five point I'm just I'm not pushing in the numbers I'm I'm just doing it roughing it in. So as you can see here we should have five entries one two three four five yes um and uh, going to randomly 
randomize the seed and as you can see it works perfect so right now we made a random generator um, and now we want to uh, introduce um, rotation random rotation as well so I'm going to pipe a UV transform into the UV coordinate here um, for each of these random bitmaps I'm using the same one um, like this and we are going to take another remapper and pipe this random thing here into our ah uh, there into our rotate there so thing same thing applies here if i uh, put some number here we get some rotation you can see these small bits and pieces that's because it's a bitmap uh, and we introduce some kind of tiling uh, the, the, the bitmap is not big enough we could scale them individually um, but uh, the best thing actually is to uh, clamp each bitmap that means basically we're telling the bitmap show only one do not tile this bitmap in any way if we scale it down to a micro size or a giant size so there so now all these are clamped and we'll only show the one bitmap here so and we can pump this up way up here like this something like this and you can see here the purple thing here and this one uh, are rotated differently uh, this one is rotated different from this one and and so forth so um, random by index go here there so now we both have random rotation and we have random uh, distribution so and that's pretty much it um and let's take an overview here of what we built so we have a node hash that collects a unique id for each instance we source that into a random node oh. <coughs> we use the range remapper to introduce this array into the 105 color map and we make sure to set the specific range we want if we set this one to three we should go to to, to no more than uh, 3.99 here um, and we have of course source that to the to the color and uh, the way we introduce uh, a rotation random rotation of all these is we take a uv transform pipe them into the uh, uv coordinate and since we use an instant base uh, based uh, randomizer we can use the range remapper and just go arbitrarily high to make sure everything is, is rotated randomly you can also just use small values and then the nuance in in uh, the random rotation will of course uh, be uh, less uh, visible we could do the same thing for offsetting and scale so if we wanted to scale the bitmaps uh, a little bit differently we could uh, we could do the same thing of course this is practical in uh, situations where maybe you want to scatter a large amount of um, of um, of instances and have some randomization so bear in mind this is just a test and you can of course use it for all kind of kinds of things uh, i hope this was uh, helpful um, so yeah that's it